So if you've been following the Galaxy S24 Ultra information, then you might know that Samsung is getting rid of the 10x optical lens and swapping it with a 5x lens. At first glance, it might seem like a downgrade, but hold on, there's more to this story. The latest scoop suggests that this change could actually enhance your overall video recording experience. Notably, this change would enable seamless video recording across all cameras, even in 4K 60fps mode. Let's break it down a bit. Right now, if you own one of Samsung's swanky high-end phones, you can't switch between the ultra-wide, wide, and telephoto cameras while shooting 4K videos at 60fps. You're limited to doing that in the 4K 30fps mode. However, the Galaxy S24 Ultra is expected to change that, possibly due to an improved processor and ISP, as well as a more capable telephoto camera. Apple recently introduced seamless 4K 60fps video recording with the release of the iPhone 15 Pro series, and Samsung might be following suit. The shift from a 10x to a 5x telephoto camera may seem like a downgrade, but given Samsung's rumored use of a larger and higher resolution sensor, we could still expect 10x optical quality, and more importantly, improved photo and video quality in low light conditions. And not only that, but the transition between cameras while recording is likely to be smoother than ever. No more jarring jumps between camera modes that ruin that perfect video moment. Moving on, the Galaxy S24 Ultra made an appearance on Geekbench for the very first time. Up until now, it was either S24 or S24 Plus. And the numbers are impressive. We're talking a whopping 35% boost in CPU speed compared to the S23 Ultra. And if you missed it, the GPU in the S24 Ultra is said to be 40-50% to better. So all in all, this phone is shaping up to be a performance beast, especially when you consider that the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 chip is still made on a 4nm process. Oh, and speaking of benchmarks, the S24 Plus with Exynos 2400 also appeared on Geekbench and looks pretty promising. It's almost in the same league as the Snapdragon 8 Gen 3, which is good news. But you know what's better, Samsung will only equip the Exynos on the S24 and S24 Plus, the S24 Ultra on the other hand, will exclusively use Snapdragon all over the world. Now, here's some interesting information. Remember when Google unveiled the Pixel 8, and that cool AI feature called Google Assistant with Bard? We were all wondering if Google would keep it locked down to Pixel phones or share the love with other brands. Well, it looks like we've got some answers. In the latest beta version of the Google app, 9T05 Google found some clues suggesting that the Google Assistant with Bard will in fact remain exclusive not just to the Pixel phones, but to some Samsung phones as well. Notably the Galaxy S24 lineup as well as the S23 lineup. So the plan, as it seems, is to launch it first on Pixel devices in the next couple of months, before heading over to the Galaxy S24 early next year, followed by the Galaxy S23 series. Other OEMs could get the feature later next year. In case you don't know, Bard is a generative AI tool just like Chat that makes Google Assistant a whole lot smarter than it already is. Of course, do subscribe for all the latest content. With that being said, I will see you guys in.